What's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. Um, right now I'm filming me. Right now it's a GoPro Fusion, the brand new GoPro Fusion outside in my backyard. And if you look that way, you probably can still see my house. Uh, I have a glass window. Um, this is a actually pretty complicated environment. If you look up, there is like wooden beam. Uh. On the top part, and that always throw off a lot of stitching software. So it's a really good test to see how good is the GoPro Fusion stitching. Because everybody why not glorify like, oh, this camera is amazing. You cannot find a stitch line. But let's see if the optical flow stitching or the D-wrap uh, from GoPro Fusion is basically flawless. Uh, I would ask you to pay attention on the top and also on your left. The chair, the really complicated pattern chair is right on the stitch line as well and see how good is the stitching and the chair is actually probably 2 meters away from the camera so it's actually not that close. I'm close to the camera though. So uh, I will actually stand up, uh, I'll walk over right here on the other side of the stitch line. So now I'm very 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 close to the stitch line. Hopefully my face not got cut in half and, and then uh, I'll just lean back, lean back, lean back. Back. You can tell from where I start to not having a stitch line from the camera, so that will see the conversion point of this uh, camera. So let's keep going. Probably I already out the stitch line, so it should be fine. But now I'll just walk back in. Yes, really close to the camera. And then move over to the back, the lens, right here. Okay, so now you see the performance of GoPro Fusion and 5.2K Pro Tube uh, Max ISO 400s in an outside sunny environment. Again, the sun is over there, right on top of the Fusion actually. And also see like how good it is that uh, balance the temperature, balance the color temperature between the two lens with the sun over in one lens, not the other. Now I'm gonna switch to the E VR 60 camera and do the same test to compare the quality between the E stitching and the fusion stitching. Be right back. Okay, so now we're back. Recording right now is the E360 VR camera. And if you look behind me, it's a hummingbird touching my flower. It's pretty amazing. Hopefully, you can see the camera. So, again, look up, look at the stitching of E handling really complicated top pattern. Uh, and then look at the left side and actually see the GoPro Fusion right there, sitting in front of my really complicated pattern chair. Also, sit right on the stitch line to see like if. E having an issue to stitch that complicated pattern. And uh, I'm gonna move over here. Really close touching the stitch line of the camera. And then I move back, move back, move back. See from which point the E start to not stitch me out. Pretty sure right now the E will perform pretty well. Uh, and then I can move back right back in. Right on the stitch line. Really close stitch line. And now go behind the camera. Right here. So now you see how is the comparison, how good the stitch comparison between the EBR360 uh, and the GoPro Fusion. Uh, in the next one tutorial, we'll actually compare just the still image quality and the stitching between the GoPro Fusion and the E to see how good it's still. Uh, but before we go, let's throw in the Xiaomi Misphere just for fun to see. How good is the Xiaomi Mi Sphere Stitch Mythical VR compared to that two camera? Hey, what's up, everybody? Now we are back filming me right now. It's the Xiaomi Mi Sphere camera with the brand new, brand new firmware and shoot in 3.4K, but in high bit rate, meaning the video quality will be better even in 3.4K. And there's a brand new firmware available for Mi Sphere Xiaomi and. Just to remind you that before that, we filmed with the EBR 60 camera and then before that, we looked at that side, it's a GoPro Fusion right there. So we got to compare the GoPro Fusion 5.2K and the E 5.4, 5.7K and this 3.4K Misfit. I got to upscale the video, uh, so put in the same video and compare the image quality. So again, look at the stitching. This is a tutorial test stitching, right? The look up to see how good the Misphere handling like complicated wooden beam pattern. I will try to stitch it in Mystica VR, which is a great stitching third-party stitching solution. To try to like do my best to fix the issue of Misphere because if you get a Misphere, that's probably how you're gonna use it for this high bitrate video. Uh, okay, look at the left side. You see the GoPro Fusion, really complicated pattern chair. 
pay attention to the stitching on the stitch line. And now I'm gonna just walk around uh, on this side. Gonna lean all the way in, really close to the camera, and try to get out to see from which point I can stitch myself uh, perfectly with the stitching software solution. So I'm just going back in. Close to the camera on the back side of the lens. So hopefully now you see uh, the stitching quality compared with Misphere, uh, the Xiaomi Misphere, and the GoPro Fusion, and the E VR360. So again, if you like this video, please give me a thumb up. I will do more testing for you guys to help you guys to find out which camera you should get uh, for your Christmas, for your loved one, for your Christmas present, or as a New Year resolution that you want to feel more travel vlog and 360 video. Uh, with your YouTube channel you own or your video company or whatnot. So, subscribe and I will see you next time.